cabin, in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Getting the hang of it yet? Check your map, get packages from the back hatch, and be sure to park your van right back here at the office when you're done. Easy as pie. isn't the time to leave Providence Oaks. I didn't bring the package.
Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. This is not the right package. I think I grabbed the wrong package. Nope. Wrong parcel. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away.
actually enjoying this. Hello there, big cuddly guy. Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Well, I'm not a mailman exactly. I'm Meredith Weiss. Heavens, I meant no offense. It's just that male woman doesn't sound right, does it, Genevieve? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. It's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? Of course. You're the cat lady. And uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here? And Thomas, 
And Oliver? Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. I mean, I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Well, anyway, gotta run. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. few days, I won't even need that map. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? <laughs> nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Um, uh, thanks, I guess. You're welcome, I guess.
Bear Creek again. Oh, right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. There's a new face. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah. Thanks, and sorry. It's not your fault this is full of bullcrap. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. 
tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. In that case, you're welcome, honey. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Uh, actually, I try to stay healthy these days. You trying to tell me my pie is a health hazard now, Miss Wise? Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. No offense, Maureen, but I'm going to back away slowly. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Would you who don't want to try to make up dreams just to be seen? I want to lay here beside you, oh quiet.
That's heavier than I thought. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Hmm. New in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm all right. The job's okay, I guess. It's not the most exciting thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. It's only for two weeks. Dad drove that truck for decades. Yeah, but I'm not Dad, remember? How is he, by the way? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> Good morning. 
Morning Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do, with a PO positive or pet feed, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet feed. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Dale, that makes me want to get a piece right now. Hmm, same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I used to live here. Then I didn't, and now I'm back. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Must have been in your didn't period. Yep, that would be smack dab in the middle of it. What brings you here? I used to live someplace else, then I moved here. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. So, your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. 
Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. I probably won't get to it right away. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. These look like bills. heavier than I thought. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket! Ground control, we have landed the rocket! We will now begin our experiments! Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah. Clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for... Alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. You married Quarterberry? 
and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Mo's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again.
Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. Here's your mail. Lighter than I thought. Meryl, dear! So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. He's almost catato... Sorry. Heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. Hmm. I suppose rules are rules. But can't you make an exception for poor little Mortimer? All right. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer.
Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? I'm sure she has. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer.
used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute. I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Not a parcel for me? No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter.
Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> All right. Well, let's watch this. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a